Okay, so uh, with the scholarships um, involved, as the way I came over to England, but I was told, you know, whilst uh, well, growing up in Trinidad and Tobago, uh, only scholarships were given to girls to the US, and that's what happened. So all the girls went to the US to play, and that boys don't get scholarships. But I really wanted to study and play, so uh, I was trying to find ways of being able to get us get a scholarship um, where I can study and play hockey. And it was kind of proving to be difficult. And then we found out that Great Britain was they were going to come to. Uh, from Adam Tobago in 1996 for the Atlanta Olympics. That got me quite excited actually because I thought if I can play really well in that game against Great Britain, maybe somebody will, uh, will want to get me over and I can start uh, finding a way to get a scholarship. And so Great Britain came over and played and I did really, really well in the games. And uh, one of the coaches started a, a bit of a conversation. And this university was able to arrange a full scholarship for me. So. I was able to get a yeah, full scholarship and also um, get Premier League hockey and that's how it started. Straight away um, from coming from Trinidad and Tobago, I was able to, to play with you know, some top players, top world class players, players who uh, played in the Olympics, quite a few Germans, quite a few Australians, so it meant that uh, my own level improved and it improved my, my playing for my standard for when I back and play for Trinidad and Tobago. I think one of the one of the best things about uh, was traveling, getting coached from different coaches and seeing the, the different styles, that really helped me a lot with my playing part, and that kind of uh, is kind of linked with my with some of the coaching that I've done. And my real responsibility is working with England development men and under twenty ones. Um, because of traveling, you do get to meet players from strange countries who are pretty good, very good hockey players, but are never, never really, they're not known because the team doesn't play in the Champions Trophy or the team doesn't play in the Olympics, um, so nobody knows them. So I, I quite enjoy, um, you know, finding these players. Quite a few of them come from Trinidad and Tobago, uh, and all the guys who've come over, they've had a fantastic uh, time in, in England uh, and making some, yeah, some memorable achievements. So it's stuff like that that really makes it enjoyable because I went through the same thing. So it was, uh, as in coming from Trinidad and Tobago, you, you're not going to be taken seriously for, for yeah, because uh, the hockey's not, you're not really seen. Um, so, uh, and I, I know that there's lots of players with that same, who are able to play, um, but just that the country is not, not at that level. Coaching wise, you know, getting into contact with all these players, it's yeah, just normally through um, your own experiences, really, of meeting players, of them coming over, and them recommending um, recommending other players. Or, but um, it's a great avenue for for these players to be able to to be seen. So for coaches, you know, looking for players, players in different parts of the world, to be able to uh, just to see where they've been, the level they play, and then find a way to make uh, that contact, and also for the, for these players, you know, to also to be able to advertise themselves and show. What they can do so that players who are looking can be easily reached, easily contacted. Because there, there's so many players who will love to be able to, to travel the world and play in different places, but it's just not the right avenue. And they just the, the only way they do it really is by sort of word of mouth, talking to friends. But there's nothing really uh, organized, so it's almost uh, hit and miss lots of the time. So for, for yeah, for players, coaches, it's just a great avenue to have a so I could see a better understanding of uh, the player you're going to meet, and for them to also have an idea of uh, what they're getting into.